Hi everyone and welcome to your monthly animal energy reading. We are going to be using um, the Christmas decks that I do have. Here's one here that you can choose from. So we have Pile 1, Father Christmas, Card 13, Pile 2, Solstice, Card 34, or Pile 3, Contemplation, Card Number 7. So whatever Pile Number card number or word on the card calls to you is the one that you are meant to choose. If you find that more than one calls to you, that is perfectly fine. And if you are finding this reading after December, that is okay. December is just the month that I'm recording it for. The messages are timeless. So pick your pile and I will see you there. Hi to those of you who chose pile one, Father Christmas, or number 13. This is going to be your December animal energy reading. That is energy coming in from your animal spirit guides, as well as God, Source, Universe, otherwise, or aka, as I like to say now, spirit. So that's how I'll refer to them all. Okay, I'm just going to set this aside and we'll get back to it towards the end of the reading. Uh, we have tarot and oracle here. I'm going to be doing live tarot at the end. So let's get started. First card out, we have Porcupine Spirit. Time for beginner mind. And what I want to say about this, I'm kind of thinking it as uh, four or five, six different messages. It, you could find that it will loosely tie together. Maybe, I don't know yet. Or if not, they are going to be individual messages. So that's the way I'm going to read them here to you. With this porcupine spirit, we have Page of Swords, Time for Beginner Mind. So this tells me that there's something that maybe you've been working on or something that you want to start working on, maybe something that you're going to revisit. And it's kind of like starting fresh, starting anew. Okay, and I like here that the Page of Swords is with it because they want you to go back. Maybe you've been working on something and it's, you know, it's become stale. It's kind of hit a wall. And they want you to remember back what was it like in the beginning. This message comes out quite often. Sometimes as we get moving forward, we forget um, the passion that we had in the beginning. We also forget the simple ways maybe that we have started to do something. This can be in relationships with people. It can be at work. You could be an entrepreneur owning your own business, however it resonates for you. But take on that page of swords energy where it's all about the way you communicate. It's all about new ideas. It's thinking, um, you know, you're, you're being really, uh, you're being an intellectual. You're being very smart about your new ideas and ways of communicating. And pages um, are just young and the Page of Swords in particular has a thirst for knowledge. So it's learning, learning. And you may find that you start back at square one, but that's okay. That's their message for you. Let's go on to the next card. We have Lady Bird, or as we like to call them here in Canada anyway, uh, Lady Bugs. And it says, accept happiness and good fortune. And here is the Archangel. I'm hoping that you can see that fine. Okay, and with accept happiness and good fortune is the Page of Cups. So I love that as well, because with the Page of Cups here, that is being happy. It's being joyful. It's having love for something. It's having compassion, right? Uh, they love new um, creative opportunities. And this is accept happiness and good fortune. So maybe there's going to be some new creative opportunities coming up for you. Um, there's also a possibility that someone may be walking along and wanting to hand you the cup of love, okay? <laughs> because they might be thinking that they're a bit of the Knight of Cups, all right? Um, but it's really, it's handing you new ideas. It's, it's new creative opportunities. It's knowing that there's possibility and being curious enough to get it. And that's what I love about the pages. They're curious. So, 
it kind of, I can see how it would loosely tie back to here. It's, you know what, don't be afraid to start over at the beginning um, because there will be good fortune for you and happiness. And you just need to take on the energy of these two pages and make it happen. Let's go to the next card. We have news, Raven, with temperance. Oh, I like that. Maybe for some of you coming up or in and around this month, someone's going to be bringing something to you that's going to give you balance into your life. Maybe you've been waiting on a message for someone. Maybe you have been waiting to hear some good news, okay? And the reason I'm saying good news, see this light? It's like there's light at the end of the tunnel and they're all flying out right into the light. So... I feel that whatever this news coming in, it's going to be good news that's delivered to you. And I feel that it is somehow going to bring balance and flow back into your life. Again, could loosely tie to this, but you can take each one of these as individual. Here, maybe you've just been waiting on um, a new creative opportunity to take off and that's what's gonna bring you the happiness and good fortune, right? For some of you, it's starting things over from scratch and remembering who you are and what it is that you did. Next, we have Shark. Trust your instincts to discern the truth of a situation with the world. Mm. See, with the world card, we like to think that something's come full circle, right? It's the closing of one chapter, you open another. So maybe something's come to it, to the end for you. Maybe someone's bringing you back here. Someone was bringing you news and it was, I said, going to bring balance and flow in. Maybe this news that's coming in, you're going to have to be the shark. You're going to have to trust your instincts. And that's what's going to close it down, right? That's going to be the end of it so that you can move on from it or move on to something new. Mm, I like the way that's coming out. Trust your instincts to discern the truth of the situation. I said I felt like it was good news. Again, we can tie these together or leave them separately, pile one. But I do like that there is an ending coming here. You just need to have your wits about you. And finally, we have dear with love. Be gentle with yourself. You heal with the power of love. See the light in all things. Acknowledge your self-worth and grace. I love this because I feel like it's kind of tying in with all of them. If we look here, and because it could be any one of these sentences, be gentle with yourself. Yeah, don't get upset if you have to start over. Because I think you already had the feeling that you were going to have to, but they're just confirming you know what you do and you do it with um, real, you know, in really smart, clear, intellectual ways, okay? That's how you're gonna approach it with a youthfulness behind it, but you're going to really have some really new, fantastic ways of doing things, communicating, learning things. See the light within all things, right? See the light. If there is news that comes in here or something comes in here where you have to trust your instinct, see the light behind it. But even here, I said I, I feel like it's light. Maybe that is see the light in all things. It helps you to find balance, peace, peace on earth, the world. It helps you to move forward and acknowledge your own self-worth that you are able to do this um, for yourself. Yeah, I love it. Let's take a look at what card balance again. <laughs> so interesting. So this is the two of pentacles. And just like the, it's flowing here, right? The water's flowing with balance between the two cups. Look, standing on what I want to say is a sheet of ice balanced. Here you have um, the person trying to balance the two pentacles. And twos are balance, right? It's making good decisions. 
and uh, making good choices. And I feel here they're saying, be the gentle deer, right? Make the decision to love. And whatever it is that you're doing and whatever news you hear, choose to see the best or the light in all things. And that will help to bring you balance. I also want to read the Father Christmas card. It said, how did thy get here? Loss, perhaps? No worries at all. Gather yourself and clear the frost, for the good still lives in you, dear. I love that. And they're saying, right? Acknowledge your self-worth and your grace. 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 I was going to say grace. Because the good still lives within you. Yeah, I love this message for you, Pile One. Let's get some tarot here and uh, see what the tarot has to say. We're going to get, I, I love this. I can see how there may, there's like minimum of five different messages, if, if not more. And you could loosely tie it together as well. It depends on your own situation in your own life. You don't need to make it fit. You'll know without a doubt if it's resonating. The King of Canes or the King of Swords. Yeah, that King of Swords is one smart dude, right? He has mental clarity. He is an intellectual. He's a real smarty pants. Um, he can, you know, he's a truth teller. And these are all important things, okay? I think they do tie back in because we have the Page of Swords there. The Page is always working up to be a king. They want you to take on that energy as well. When you're dealing with these situations, where here it says trust your instincts to discern the truth of the situation, that's trusting your intuition, trusting your gut, but also be clear of mind about it as well. Okay? And I even want to say in calculating if need be. The thing with the King of Swords and being calculating, I always say if it is in a way that is benefiting you, that is not hurting anyone else, it's okay to make calculated moves. But not if you're hurting other people, right? Let's get one more. We have the Three of Gifts or the Three of Pentacles. Maybe this is going to require some help from some other people. Usually, um, we were talking about beginner mind, you know, good fortune is coming. Maybe in up here at the top, this is really you maybe going to other people like a mentor and saying, hey, I know that you're good at this. Can you maybe give me some insight or some advice? So don't be afraid to work with or to ask others for help or, or literally or advice, okay? Or just even their opinion on something maybe. Let's get one more. The Ace of Canes. Again, the Ace of Swords. So we're back to, I love this. We have um, the Ace of Swords, which is saying, this is really a time. And I feel it's, this is sword energy up here and here, even though there is some cups as well, which is emotions. But it is really, again, the new ideas, the new way of doing things, um, having mental clarity that I talked about, maybe even having an aha moment or a breakthrough moment. Okay, let me just grab the um, oracle cards that I want to use here for one last oracle. Okay, I just grabbed this last little, I love these little cards. Oh, well, okay, two come out. We'll take both of them. Steadiness. Things seem to be moving slowly, but use this time to your advantage and gather your resources and rebuild your energy. You are going to need them. I feel like that comes back in up here, right? 
Slow and steady will win this race for you and some real clear thinking. Okay, the next one is boldness. Don't take this lying down, get up and fight, but fairly. This fight will be remembered because of the respect and dignity you bring to the battle. Ooh, so maybe for some of you, this could be its own individual message about, you may need to stand up and be bold in a situation right now in your life, but do it with dignity. Okay, so pile one, this is your message. I hope that you enjoyed it. I will um, see you in the new year. Well, actually I have a ton of other readings coming out for the month of December. So have a very um, Merry Christmas. If you celebrate anything else this time of year, I know that we have Kwanzaa. I know that we have Hanukkah. I'm not sure of others, but I wish you the best um, for those as well, or whatever it is that you celebrate. Yule, we can even say, right, for Christmas. So, and it's the winter solstice, right? So there we go. Lots of things being celebrated around the world this time of year. So enjoy your time, and I will see you in the next reading. Hi to those of you who chose Pile 2, this card Solstice, or the number 34. This is going to be your animal energy reading for December or whenever you find it because these messages are timeless. We're going to be working with Oracle and Tarot here as well as Live Tarot and Oracle at the end. I'll also bring this card in sometime during the reading. We'll just see how it may or may not fit in. But we can say right now, Solstice coming up, Winter Solstice, the shortest day of the year. And uh, for some, it is the time to start celebrating uh, the days becoming longer, more light coming in, and it's a time for new beginnings. So there is that about solstice. But let's get started with the Oracle and Tarot we have here, Pile 2. I'm going to think of this as possibly five different messages, maybe more. Maybe it will tie together. Not sure until all the cards get out. But we have Rhino Spirit, Overcome Any Obstacle, along with the moon. Oh, very interesting. For some of you, you may find that you are going to be running into energy or situations, people, places, things, whatever, where you may have, okay, a bit of an obstacle. And with the moon card, what I want to say is, I always kind of think of it. I know I tell you guys this all the time, and it's just the way I read, and I, I can't help myself. <laughs> With the moon, I always think of it as what is hidden, right? Because this big moon is up here, and I always think, what is hidden behind the veil? Okay, what sometimes you like to work behind the scenes, so whatever obstacle is coming up, if you're the type of person that there's two stories here that likes to work behind the scenes and over in order to overcome the obstacle, you may have to put yourself out in front, out into the spotlight. And when I say spotlight, that just means out in front. OK, it literally in some cases, depending on who you are or what the situation is, there could be a spotlight at other times. It's just you're going to have to come out front and center and maybe be take the lead or take charge to overcome this obstacle, take control of the situation. For others, I feel like maybe you are the person that's always out in front trying to take control and trying to take the lead. But in order to come this obstacle, you're going to have to work behind the scenes. I feel, and right from the beginning, as soon as I saw it, and because there's two here, right? I'm like, I feel like there's two options here. We've got the dog and the wolf. There's two options. There's the option of you're the person that needs to step out in order to solve it or overcome it, or you're the person that needs to step back in order to um, overcome it. Next, we have the eagle. And with the eagle, it is seize opportunities courageously. And this is the archangel, just so you can see the name here. If you want to look up that archangel or call upon, meditate with that archangel, uh, do that. 
um, especially if you are going after something new, new opportunity for you. But look at this. With it, we have the Nine of Wands. That's someone who's been through some tough battles. But you're coming to the end of the tough battles. And I feel if we look at each one of these wands that you've been seizing opportunities courageously for quite some time now. Okay, that is for some of you. So keep going. You're almost at the end where you can lay those wands down and settle. All right, settle into all that courageous hard work that you've been doing. For others, I feel like you have just been, it's been one small battle after another, after another, and you're weary and you're at the end. And they're just saying, don't give up now because there could be more opportunities for you. And even though you're tired and you're probably frustrated or fed up, whatever the situation or, you know, however that resonates in your life, they want you to keep going. Okay, keep seizing the opportunities. Don't give up now. You can overcome any obstacle here. Oh, I love this. We have cat with intuition. Mm, I love this card in this deck. And you know cats are just so intuitive, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, they hear everything. They see everything. They feel everything, which is being intuitive. <laughs> Oh, with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. I Okay. So let's just look up till now. Pile two. We have intuition come out. Overcome any obstacles. I talked about being out or maybe you have to work out in front. Maybe you have to work behind. But using your intuition here. For some of you, you... Um, are, are coming down the home stretch and it's almost time to lay down those wands if it's a burden, okay? If it's not because you've been collecting them along the way, you're just tired and weary, you're almost at the end. But it says seize opportunities courageously. Here they want you to use your intuition and they're showing the Ten of Pentacles, which makes me feel that whatever these situations are up here, be using your intuition as well right? About being in front, being behind, or seize a new opportunity, because that is what is going to bring the success and abundance into your life. Mm. Yeah. Okay, let's get, we have a few more here. Goose. Take time to rest and recuperate rather than continuing your striving. <gasps> okay. With the Eight of Cups. Love it so much because they're saying take time to rest and recuperate rather than continuing your striving. You need to leave the striving behind, okay? And that is maybe you overworking. That is maybe you overthinking it. That is maybe you trying to control it too much. That is maybe hitting obstacle after obstacle and not sure which way to to go to overcome it. This could be, remember how I said, maybe you've been moving along small battle after small battle, collecting these wands and you're weary. Yes, take time to rest and recuperate. Okay, you're almost at the end here. So I want to say this is like your last push to the end where you can rest and recuperate and you can leave all this nine of wands behind. Use your intuition. Okay, use your intuition. Let's see. I love this deck too. Unicorn, infinite possibilities. Wow. You are the sovereign of the seen and unseen worlds. Remember how, I don't know if I had said it about behind the veil, but like you either can be out in front of the veil or behind the veil, working out in front, working behind, okay? Mm, you are the sovereign of the seen and unseen worlds. You can move between them. The magic of love surrounds you. Beauty transforms you. Listen to the spirits of light. Abandon the darkness. Go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary. Wow. I love that. Infinite possibilities. I love that 
you can overcome any obstacle and you do it by working in the seen or the unseen world. It can also, we're talking spiritually, but the message is still there. Listen to the spirits of the light. Yes, listen to your intuition of love light and highest vibration. Abandon those dark thoughts that aren't serving you at all, okay? And when that happens, you can go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary. So whatever it is when you get to the end here and you leave all this striving behind and running up against obstacles, I feel like this opportunity you're seizing is going to be extraordinary for you and it's going to bring you abundance in some way. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at the card with it. The world. It will be you coming to the end of this cycle. That's what the world is, coming full circle. Once you're able to get past the obstacles, seize the opportunities, and you're using your intuition and resting and recuperating when you need to so that you can keep on going. Oh, I love it. You you come to the world, the end of a cycle, at the end of a phase. You can start over again. Beautiful. Now let's read the solstice card. All hail the cunning truth in which it burns deep within root. Rise above the ashes and claim the gods are awaiting your glory, your name. It's like a new beginning, right? And it's going to be beyond the ordinary. They're waiting for you to seize these opportunities or the opportunity. Wow, this really read as, as a story. You can take each one individually, which is by using your intuition, it will bring you abundance in the end, whether it's money, things, people, okay? You need to learn to not strive and chase and chase and chase. You need to learn to leave that behavior behind and rest and recuperate. You need to We've, we've already talked enough about these ones, seizing the opportunities. This is time for a new beginning. You've got the world and solstice. Let's get some tarot for further clarification, confirmation, uh, or guidance. And then we'll do one last oracle as well. Love this for you, Pile 2. These came out. So we're going to say uh, the Magus or the Magician. We're going to say Justice. Oh, we may have too many there. You know what? I'm going to put them back in and because there were another three and that's too many. There we go. This one came out. The two of canes or the two of swords. I love this. So this is you using your intuition um, and knowing within yourself that you have everything you need. You have fire, air, earth, and water within you. You can manifest what it is to get past the obstacle, to, to get to where it is you need to be to lay those wands down. This is you using your intuition. With the two of canes, I feel with the two of swords, there are decisions to be made. You can either go down one path or down the other, okay? One path or the other path. Normally, I think it's usually 50-50 with these. In this particular case, I feel that as long as you're following your intuition, there isn't going to be a bad path. And if there is for you, because it'll be different for everyone, your intuition is going to tell you which one to leave and which one to go down when you come to the crossroad, okay? And with justice, again, it's just... It's it's trying to get that balance in, you know, the scales of justice. For some of you, there could even be something happening in any of these scenarios that may have to do with the law or with or with justice. Um, but I really feel with justice too, it's it's trying to find the balance, trying to find what's fair for everyone, getting on the right path and following it, and uh, and realizing that all decisions made because you're making a decision here, right? They do have consequences. But again, if you're following, I'm, I'm going to keep coming back to here, your intuition. 
and you are working with spirit, God, source, universe, your animal spirit guides, your other spirit guides, and you believe and you know how to listen to them and, and separate that from your ego self, um, then you will be able to, to get through it, okay? And get on the right path. One last card here. We have creativity. There are ways of dealing with this situation without giving away your power. Think of creative methods in which you can be heard and maintain your dignity. I love that when it comes to overcoming obstacles. I love it when it's about seizing opportunities. And I even love it here with recuperating. Recuperating isn't giving away your power. Okay, and you can come up with creative ways of dealing with these issues here. So that is your reading pile too. Again, I really hope that you enjoyed it. I'll have other readings out for the rest of this month. Please have a happy holiday. Merry Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas, if you celebrate, the only other two I know this time of year are Kwanzaa and Hanukkah. So if you celebrate something else this time of year, I wish it to be happy and abundant for you. And I will see you in the next reading. Hi to those of you who chose pile three, this card contemplation number seven. I'm just going to set this aside. We'll see if it ends up tying in with the reading. I'm using Tarot and Oracle. We'll be doing live Tarot and Oracle at the end. Uh, you may find these are situations coming in and around you for the month of uh, December. If you are seeing this after December, that is okay because the reading is timeless. This is just the time frame that I'm doing it in. So let's get started. First out, we have Seahorse Spirit, Watch and Wait. So these could be five individual messages for you. They could all tie together. We'll see as the cards come out. Um, or there could be multiple messages in there. Let's, let's just go with it here and see what happens. So we have Seahorse Spirit, Watch and Wait. And I love the card that came out with that, which is the Seven of Cups. This is having choices. This is being wise. This is watching and waiting. There are a lot of choices here. How do you know which one to choose? Some of you may know right away in your situation, okay? Others, you may have to watch and wait and make the choice that's best for the situation. So I feel right here, this is kind of calling on you to have some patience because there's a lot of good choices, but you do want to make the right one. All right, or the right two, however many it is. And again, this could be about people, places, or things, whatever it is, right? However it resonates in your life, but I do love this. Gray squirrel. Oh, how cute. <laughs> um, find new ways of solving problems. This is Archangel Raphael. So if you need to call on Archangel Raphael to help you, then that is something that you can do. But find new ways of solving problems. I feel like it's time back to watch and wait. Maybe that's what this is. The choice that needs to be made is to solve a problem here. And you need to be smart about it, about making the choice. Maybe it's like that old saying, right? Um, everything isn't as good as it... Well, I don't even know if that's a saying. I'm just going to say it. Everything isn't necessarily as good as it looks. I'm horrible, you guys. It's driving me crazy now. Everything that glitters isn't gold. That, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I knew if I waited long enough, it would come to me. All right. And we have with the gray squirrel here, find new ways of solving problems, the page of pentacles. Well, of course, it would be the page of pentacles. I love that that would come out, that, that he comes out because pages are young. They're very curious. They 
love thinking of new ways of doing things. So they would love to find a new way to solve a problem. And the fact that it's a pinnacle is just, he's the most grounded page, right? Like he's the one who is really good at manifesting what it is that he needs or manifesting ways to solve the problem. He is someone who is an advocate to get out there and learn new things, develop new skills, uh, because that could solve a problem for you in your life. For example, if for some of you say you were um, financially, you need to make more money. Well, this could be with the Page of Pentacles, also a new financial opportunity, or it's thinking of a new way to solve the problem. You need more money. Well, maybe if you were to upgrade a skill, take a course, it might lead the way for you to... Um, you know, be able to move up or get a new position or even a new job where you can make more money. Next, we have the Watcher with the Snow Leopard. Oh, I love this card. Okay, that's so pretty. I was just looking because it's a 15, a one and a five, which is a six. And I'm like, see that? The Watcher. It's what you're doing up here. You're watching and waiting. The snow leopard's going to watch before it pounces on its prey, right? <laughs> I'm not saying you're going to pounce on prey, but very quiet. Um, people don't know that it's watching, okay? I feel like this is maybe a message. Let's see what card we have with it. Jack Frost, which is the death card. Yeah. The death card Jack Frost here is about death and rebirth, right? Letting go of what isn't serving you, what is old, what is outdated, what you no longer believe, whatever it may be. And you make room to bring in your new beliefs, new ways of doing things, new abundance, okay? And I feel here with this leopard, again, watching to make the right decision. I feel like it's tying back up to this card message on its own as well, but could tie up to where, you know, with the seahorse, the snow leopard is also watching and waiting and waiting for the time to strike. And I almost... And it could be either way here. It could be the time to strike to let go of that old or the time to strike to bring in the new. But I feel like you're watching and waiting for making the best choice as well. If you want to know about letting go of the old and bringing in the new, I do new moon readings uh, once a month and full moon readings once a month. They're two weeks, of, roughly two weeks apart, as you know, the moon cycles. And I give you based on your zodiac sign or your rising sign, preferably, if you know it, um, what area of your life to focus on for releasing and letting go and what area of your life for focusing on to be planting seeds to grow, okay? So you'll see, I have playlists for it. Um, next, we have the Roadrunner. Keep your sense of humor and don't take things so seriously, love that advice, with the Nine of Pentacles. I feel with the Nine of Pentacles, this is almost the, to the 10, right? This is someone who has achieved on their own um, abundance here. This is someone who's made the right choices, someone who was able to solve the problems, someone who was able to let go of to bring in new things. And this is where it got her with abundance here, right? And even look, I love that in this card, it's matching the snow leopard. I'm not saying I think it is. I'm just saying I think this would be maybe opulence for, you know, this card for back in the day, right? But it's, it's and that's what it is. It's, it's having everything that you need and not wanting for anything else other than the 10, which is literally everything, right? But they're saying keep your sense of humor. So while you're on this path, try to keep your sense of humor. It doesn't have to be so serious. You can still get there while you're waiting, while you're trying to solve problems without getting yourself into a situation where everything's come so serious, your sense of haha -ha has left and cannot be found. Let's get this last message here, white stag protector. It could be any one of these sentences for you. We have, you are an old soul. 
Your best friend is nature. Use your intuition to take you where you want to go. Awaken to the powerful force within you. You are meant to create blessings with your magic. That's a very powerful card. It reminds me of the reindeer card, I believe it is, in this deck. I just love it. So, this could be its own individual message or messages here, right? But they're saying, awaken to the forceful, the powerful force within you. That's what you're going to need to solve the problem or to release and let go because it's not always easy. And maybe for some of you, you are an old soul. Maybe for some of you, people have looked at you all your life and said, oh, you're such an old soul, right? It's just like you just know things or your demeanor or your temperament. And you are meant to have this blessing here at the end. Let's see what card we have with it. Oh, well, the Empress, please. The Empress is all about getting everything that you want. She is above here, even the Nine of Pentacles. The Empress is able to create and manifest and grow whatever it is that she wants into being, into reality. She goes with the flow. She's easygoing, but she's caring and nurturing. She nurtures and cares for herself, which is what you need to do throughout this. Love that message. Let's look at the contemplation card and see what it says. It breathes in the stillness of all that is, exhaling all that isn't. Coming from the ends of the starts and the highest of the lows, here I gasp for the answers to unfold. Mm. Well, contemplation, really sitting and thinking things over again, watching and waiting. So I love how it, it ties in there. But also... Just knowing yourself and knowing and believing that you are capable. Because we do have the highs of highs and the lows of lows in our life. But with the Empress, she just flows back and forth and just keeps working, just keeps nurturing what it is that she's planted, those wishes and dreams. She takes the time out. She contemplates, figures out what it is that she wants to do. She makes a choice. She plants the seeds. She starts them growing. She nurtures them as they grow. And boom, they come to fruition. So I love that for you. That is the energy you definitely need to take on here. Okay, along with that um, page of pentacles up there. Beautiful. And the white stag. Well, all of them, really. Okay, let's get three cards. Let's get three tarot, and then we'll do another oracle as well. So we have seven of good cheer. Oh, well, if it isn't the seven of cups coming out again on the seven of cups. So they're really saying there's going to be choices here for you. There is. It's it's. And some of them may be really easy, some of them may be more difficult, but the important thing is watch and wait and use your intuition as well to help lead you. Oh, we have the Justice card. Had this in the last pile as well. This is knowing that whatever choice you make has consequences. And this isn't meant to be, oh my God, what? My choices are going to have, not in that way. It's just you're trying to seek balance here, right? Making the right choice, planting the right seeds, getting rid of what doesn't serve you, bringing in what does, solving problems. There needs to be balance there. And I don't know, it's just, it's balancing those scales out for you, I feel. And maybe usually, what I'm just, I keep looking up here and here, maybe it's because the balance comes with you normally make decisions too quickly. And that's where you need to just slow it down and realize that sometimes they haven't, um, the, the consequences haven't been so great when you make those fast decisions instead of watching and waiting. 
okay. And for some of you, it could have something to do with legal, legal matters as well. I don't really feel that so much. That just may be for the odd person if it resonates for you somehow with all of this. All right. And if we don't have another stag here, look at this strength, the protector. You are capable of doing this. You have the willpower and the strength to slow it down and wait. You are able to do what it is that you need to do to let go of what you need to let go of, to take time out and think about it and make a plan and get past any um, problems, finding new ways to solve them. So I love this for you, Pile 3. You are strong, even if sometimes you don't feel like it. Don't take things serious so seriously either. I think that's really going to help you. Let's get one last oracle card here for you, Pile 3. Creativity. That one also came out last time. There are ways of dealing with this situation without giving away your power. Think of creative methods in which you can be heard and maintain your dignity. You are strong. You don't need to give away your power. You are protected. You are the white stag. You are the protector. People who are giving away their power need you to come and help protect them, okay? So do not ever doubt that ab about yourself. And just know there are many different ways and they want you to find them with this Page of Pentacles energy of you know, using creativity here to help deal with situations without giving away your power. Important message for a few of you. So if you enjoyed this pile three, thank you. Have a wonderful uh, Merry Christmas. If you celebrate um, other holidays around this time, I know there's also Kwanzaa. I know there's also uh, Hanukkah. I'm not sure of others, but whatever it may be, I just wish you the best in abundance, and I will see you in the next reading.